Hi y'all, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. I'm Denise and we actually just got back from Joel Salatin's place in Virginia. I went to the Rogue Food Conference, had a phenomenal time. Uh, we're gonna do a video on that this week, kind of talk about what we've learned and some changes we might be making uh, to the homestead. But uh, I wanted to bring you along today. I'm actually planting some trombuccino squash as well as some of our other squash seeds. Um, now, as you know, last year we had a terrible time with squash bugs. Now our ducks and our guineas did an amazing job, but Ben and I were still out in the mornings having to get rid of these squash bugs. Hello, guineas. <laughs> so uh, I did some research um, and there is a little flower that we actually plant every year. It's called a nasturtium. Um, it's actually an edible flower. Um, it's got a peppery taste, so it's really, really great to add to salads. Um, but I also found out that they repel squash bugs. Squash bugs hate them. So we are going to plant our squash seeds and then we're going to intersperse the nasturtium in with our squashes um, so that uh, we can repel those, those awful little critters. So we're going to go ahead and plant this squash seed and then I'm going to go ahead and plant the nasturtium and then we'll talk about some other benefits of nasturtium. Nice little bit of rabbit poop. Now we're planting trombuccino. Now one of the great things about trombuccino, um, it's a very prolific plant. The squashes are a good size, but it's a climbing squash. So if you have a small garden, it can be a really great squash to grow. And it's supposed to save for a very long time, right? Yes. Long. There's a little nasturtium seed. Oh, hello, Mr. Worm. Whole lot of rab rabbit poop going on. Yep. All right, and this is the Hori Hori knife that we sell on our website. You can see I've been using it a lot today. Um, this is a phenomenal gardening knife. I don't even use a spade anymore. We're in the mountains, so we tend to have rocky soil. This doesn't bend or break. And it's really great for helping you pull up weeds. So. All right, so nasturtium. I said edible flower repels squash bugs. Another great thing about it, um, if you have slug problems, you can actually plant nasturtium around the perimeter of your garden and it will actually trap the uh, slugs. Did I say slugs or squash bugs? I said slugs. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So it'll trap the slugs. Slugs love nasturtium. So they're going to sit there in the nasturtium and give you a chance to actually get rid of them. Or, so, or your chickens. Yeah, your chi or bring your chickens in, yes, but chickens can be a little destructive, so you want to be a little careful about uh, bringing uh, too many chickens into the garden. But one caveat with nasturtium, cabbage moths love this plant, so you do not want to plant this near your brassicas, definitely do not plant this near your cabbage. Um, what I would do is if you're doing squashes and uh, cabbage, uh, just plant them on opposite sides of your garden so that way uh, the nasturtium isn't going to call in the very bug that is going to hurt the plant, uh, like, like the cabbage um, that you're planting it next to. So just wanted to give you a quick tip um, on what we're doing um, and how to repel squash bugs uh, naturally with nature. So let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, let me know if you've actually done this and how it's worked for you. I'd be curious. 
So thanks so much, y'all. Don't forget, Hori Hori Knives, RenewedHomestead.com forward slash shop. Um, we also have our deodorant, uh, willow rooting hormone, um, there for sale as well. Um, comfrey root. Oh, and comfrey root. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks so much. I hope you are having a blessed day and happy mother's day out there to all the mothers and happy mother's day, mom. Have a wonderful day. Bye y'all.